fixation and female sexuality. The word fixation designates the threshold and perhaps the limit of psychoanalysis. Although the term enters Freud's early and still largely psychiatric writings as part of the technical clinical vocabulary of hypnosis, fixation also comes to mark the very moment when psychoanalysis veers off from psychiatry. Over time, this disarmingly familiar term has not only acquired many varied meanings and functions within psychoanalysis, but also has become effortlessly absorbed into everyday speech. Fixation is vital to Freud's first elaborations of, sim of hysterical symptom formation, the mechanisms involved in repression, and the importance of infantile sexuality. And although Freud invokes fixation in conjunction with so-called normal psychic operations, such as mourning and love, the term is invariably associated with virtually all of the most contested zones within Freud's theory of gender and sexuality. Homosexuality, perversion, pre-edible attachment to the mother, regression, femininity, and the clitoris. My project takes off from the premise that Within the language of psychoanalysis, fixation functions as a kind of placeholder that marks many of the spots where Freud himself gets stuck. So those sticking points in turn open up possible counter readings that allow one to challenge some of his most heteronormative claims from within the terms of his own writing and thinking. So in what follows, I'd like to show how these counter readings become most legible whenever Freud writes about the intimate connections between fixation and female sexuality. And in order to do so, I would like to begin with what might appear to be an old and very familiar story, the paradoxical place of female sexuality within psychoanalysis. And simply put, the paradox is this. Female sexuality both establishes the universal foundations of the Freudian metapsychology and is excluded from it. So as, well, as is well known, Freud invents the language of psychoanalysis and elaborates his first metapsychological account of how human subjectivity in general is organized on the basis of his early clinical work with female hysterics. And likewise, although Freud discovered hysteria in women, he famously and controversially never understood it as being specific to women. His elaboration of hysteria enabled him to establish the fundamental link between sexuality and the unconscious that provides the ground for psychoanalysis as his most far-reaching insights. And for Freud, hysteria is the hallmark of female sexuality, the matrix of all the other neuroses, and the bedrock of psychic organization. But in later years, as Freud becomes increasingly invested in the paradigm of the Oedipal complex, he shifts his clinical gaze away from women patients and begins to develop a putatively universal, albeit exclusively male, model of human subjectivity based on his clinical work on men and boys. 